I don't know. It's like people are seeming like are it's saying that it's Kathleen Kennedy inserting herself like the forces female stuff like that. That's why they made they made the character a woman that's not so appealing. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what people are saying online. But All yeah, right. for me, as long as the final game is still good, I'm not I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. Unlike in uh, unlike what they do in the TV shows and in the movies. Mm-hmm. But but that, that's that's the way I see it. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, right over here. This is from Screen Rant. Star Wars Outlaws fixes the franchise's big protagonist problem. Out, uh, Star Wars Outlaws will feature a female lead character, something quite unusual in the world of Star Wars video games, but long overdue. So what's the issue? Ubisoft uh, recently revealed Star Wars Outlaw featuring a new protagonist, K Vest who could just solve a problem that has been plaguing Star Wars games for the uh, for some time. While Star Wars has... Sorry, I'm going to zoom up a little bit. Uh, while Star Wars has long been a franchise with compelling female characters at its core, that has not been the case for its games. While there have been... If this is talking about, oh, there's not enough girls, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Uh, while there have been uh, games that allow players to customize their character's gender, almost all Star Wars char- uh, almost all the Star Wars games with a fixed protagonist have featured men. Okay, so you're basically saying that oh, you need more you need more female main uh, protagonist characters. Okay, well, well, what the fuck is Jyn Erso then? That's yeah. like a. That's pretty fucking big, in my opinion. Ahsoka's having her own TV show, and everyone fucking... Well, I know a lot of people like Ahsoka. Yeah. Fuck, man. Uh, Taking place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Outlaws will follow cunning young scoundrel Kay Vess as she seeks to pull off jobs within the criminal underworld. Aiming for a 2024 release date, Star Wars Outlaws will see Kay joined by a cute Merkel... Merkel? A uh, companion called Nixt and a former uh, separatist commando droid ND5. Steering the action away from Jedi and the Force feels like a breath of fresh air for the Star Wars game. And with a female protagonist, something truly new for many fans. Uh, I don't really fucking care about having a female protagonist, but I do yeah. like the fact that we're veering away from Jedi. Like, yeah, because we do know yeah. we we do know that some of the um, Stuff like uh, uh, Rogue One, I know, I, I know a lot of people like, and uh, even Andor didn't have to do with the the Jedi, but it had to do with the um, it had to do with the what's it called again, the Empire, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah. the thing is that I don't, I think she's sort of cute here. I don't think she's ugly. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's just probably the prob the Disney problem permeating to the developer of this game. It's like it, it's not, it's not bad for me. It's like I. I wouldn't mind. Say I seen the comments. Like I agree. It's like as long as the final game is really good, it's fine with me. It's like I don't mind playing as a like um the 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 YouTube narrative right now is like oh they're making a uh, lower tier female Han Solo. It's like not really. It's like um uh, because people who like covering our the woke stuff, the woke movies, the woke TV series, what's they like to always associate it to the video game space. But for me. Yeah. Even up to now, the video game the industry, it's, it's a whole other ball game. It's like the woke really cannot permeate as easily as they would like to think. Like, because acting is easy. It's like it's easy if especially you're the actor, then you're woke, then it's easy to insert yourself in such a way that way. But in game development, it's not. It's like, oh, I feel like I should be part of the game. You're gonna have to convince everyone in the development team that you want that to happen, which is mm. which is a hard sell. It's just hard sell, honestly. It's like yeah. as long as the final game is good, I'm all for it. I don't care if the gender of the protagonist is even if it's queer or LGBTQ, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a good game and in a well written story, that's all I want in video games nowadays. Yep, true. Let's see. Before I go, before I continue, I'm gonna read this one right here. Let's see, Alan Voss says, other than Joan of Arc, can you guys name one female revolutionary? Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. She's like the first superhero uh, character. She's the first yeah, superhero the first female females. ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But uh, let's see. Yeah, but the thing is that, like, I, I guess a lot of people are mad. I, I, I don't think anyone I've seen online that saying they, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there are a couple of people online saying that. Oh, you know, like all oh, female protagonists. But the thing is that 
a lot of people saw the trailer for this and even people in the chat are saying this looks pretty good like people are saying yeah. that it, 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 it's uh like it's it, it's actually like pretty good but the thing is she's actually um like she's actually good looking right because mm -hmm. if you actually take a look at the model they modeled her after her is actually uh her humberly gonzalez she looked pretty damn good over here chat i don't mm -hmm. think there's anything wrong with with uh the character right but the thing is attractive characters are going away soon attractive characters are a thing of the past do you know why because a fable so this is this i according to what i heard this is a self insert by one of the people so this is from uh uh see what right over here it says more women involved in creating video games women feel threatened by depictions of attractive women we get this <laughs> so i believe this is a self insert character right and the thing is we can't have any um any good looking characters anymore like 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 if you actually look at it like we're also we're actually uglifying a lot of the characters right i'm not saying that the characters that they base of aloy off of is um is ugly but the thing is that in the most recent one they made her look less attractive than she was in the first one and i don't think they need to do that like if you actually look at the characters from mortal kombat 11 um they're you know they're fighting they're going they're, they're badasses but they also still look attractive right like like wolf look at oh man yeah i i think that is out uh there's other, already an update regarding that on the actress they based it from. is it this one yeah yeah i think so yeah yeah so here's the thing yeah go ahead go ahead yeah yeah go ahead say your piece first i think i think it's better that way then i'll say mine so 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 the thing is that like 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 why can why can we get like good looking characters right it's like for instance like if this character is supposed to be that character they made her look very ugly yeah yeah that's probably it right that's probably mm -hmm. okay like players think the char the fable character is too ugly and i agree the thing is that they don't look attractive i'm i'm not going to want to play the characters right and if you look down here even uh Look, so this is V from um from Devil May Cry 5, DMC5. The actors, the models they got them off of. This is uh oh man, this guy looks he he this the, 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 the look look at how good they look. This is Dante. They actually look good, right? And then you yeah. and then you go back to, to looking at the main character from Fable. It's I'm not saying that it's probably based off of this, but like if it's based off of that, they make them look yeah, ugly the, fighter. Yeah. That was the theory at first for people covering this, especially those YouTubers who like to cover woke, stuff, woke Disney, woke uh, film industry. Like first they, uh, I don't want to name names, of course, because but um, yeah, they iso they did some research and isolated it to this guy itself inserting itself. But yeah, I don't. I think this is just um, a wake up call feedback for playground games. To yeah, this character doesn't look like the actress you based it off. So. Uh, maybe it's a wake up call to revise the the appearance of the character. But as someone who played Fable One to Fable Three, mm. there are no attractive female characters. I I honestly cannot remember. Chat can rem can uh, correct me on that. But if there was, I would I guarantee you I would remember. But there there are none. There are no attractive characters. The best is the one I showed you on Discord. That's mm. the the default appearance of the main character in Fable Three, but that's still that character still looks better than what we're what we're getting. Right yeah, here. yeah, that, that's that's the for me that's the best of the best looking female character in Fable. There's no other female character that looks even remotely close to her. So yeah. what I'm saying is Fable is never really it's Fable's never really a franchise known for its attractive characters. Mm -hmm. So it's for me it's not really on the woke side. They're going woke. They're going ESG. It's more of this is like just bad design from the developers. So maybe they just need to change the appearance. And we also don't know yet that this remake, if it's going to feature customizable appearance. In the first three Fable games, you can just change their hair, put tattoos on them, change their clothes, but you cannot manipulate their face. For all yeah. we know, this re this remake is, you can, you can, you can change their appearance. Yeah. So I look, I, I'm okay if they kept the, 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 the model 
So in the lower right, if they kept it like that, it's because if you did keep it, it'll look like this, which is way better already. Right? Yeah, it's already yeah. way better than than than, than, what, than what we saw when we saw here. Like we have this. This this looks like really bad. Like like you sort of you you're you're yeah definitely uglifying the the act the, the actor that's playing playing the character right. But then the online people of the internet never fails. Do you know why? Is because they will they will never stop. And then we get this. Yeah, I saw that one too. Yeah, so I'm okay with this now for sure. <laughs> I'm the, yo, yeah. she was going through a growth spurt, definitely going through puberty. She's actually she's blossoming into her. <laughs> oh man. Oh, yeah, so I think this is just, uh, just a poor decision to design her that way. It's not. Yeah, my point being is like I, I don't approve that a lot of people are saying, "Oh, they're going woke, they're going super woke." It's it's not. It's like I, I know it's it it's permeating a lot in the film and TV show industry, but in mm -hmm. the video game, it's not really that simple, in my opinion. It's like so, I'm yeah. I'm pushing I'm pushing back still a bit, even though people are saying, "Oh, this game company is going woke." It's it's not. It's the for me the video game industry. It's a lot more sophisticated than compared to the film industry, and yeah. I think. I think in the comments, yeah, Bailey's mentioned that it's confirmed already. There's a character creator, so you don't need to make your character look that way. If that's the default, then just, just change it. Just change yeah. it to the way you want it to be. True, true. But yeah, I I would say just make the character look look, look like what we see on screen is because the fact that like she's actually she's pretty decent looking here, right? In in this yeah. photo, she's she's and of course she has a lot of the moles and stuff like the that. Freckles, of course, they, yeah. they removed it, but you're making her. Her model, like it's like, whoa, this doesn't this doesn't look like you at all, and it's mm -hmm. it's very sad. It's very sad, and um, I think they shouldn't make the models actually look like how they look like in game, and like don't don't make them look ugly. Don't make them just make them look like if you got the model right there. There's no point for you to make them look ugly. Just make them look like how the model looks. Yeah. So but, uh, let's see. Yeah, and this game doesn't have a release date yet. And overall, I I like the aesthetic, the overall aesthetic. So they have plenty of time to change it. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.